Hey, our friends, today we're going to be drawing a loaf of bread. Yeah, a funny loaf of bread. We hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need something to draw with. Marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's actually draw with our paper turned sideways or horizontal. We haven't that, done this in a while. I know, yeah. We can fit more bread on our piece <laughs> of paper. <laughs> we're going to draw the loaf of bread also with one of the slices missing because it's already been cut. Yeah. So let's first draw. Uh, line coming down over here on the left side of our paper. This is for one side. And then we'll come over here, we'll leave some space, and then we're gonna draw another line that matches the same height. Then we're gonna connect the bottom, and we wanna make sure that we don't draw sharp corners. We wanna round the corners to make it look soft. So corners aren't sharp. On bread. bread. Yeah. <laughs> then we're going to use our eyes to measure in between the top of these two lines and split it right in half like this and then go up just a little bit and place a point. That's a guide point. Then we're going to draw a bump that comes up, around, and connects. Then we're going to draw another bump over here on the other side. Comes around and then connects over here on the right. Nice. Now let's draw the crust on the inside of our bread. And we're just going to go around and trace the same shape, but leave a little space in between. So we're just drawing the same thing smaller. There we go. We've got the bottom. And then we can trace around and create those two little bumps on the top. You did it. Good job. Now let's make it look 3D. We're going to draw the side of the bread. We're going to start down here at the bottom and we're going to draw a line. We're going to draw a diagonal coming up a little higher on the right. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to curve up and we're going to draw the back of the bread coming up higher. And this line, look at this. If you measure with your eyes, it's slightly higher than this point. So if you measure, if you use your marker just as a guide, put it in the same angle down here first, oh, yeah. and then line it up and then move it up. It should be roughly about the same. Okay. You got it? Yes. All right. Then we're going to draw a backwards C shape that matches over here on the front. Next, let's continue that curve coming around like this and then come right towards this shape right here and we'll connect it in. Nice. Okay, now let's start over here on this side and we're gonna draw another curve that comes around and matches. Look how it matches the same angle as this line. Then we're gonna keep coming further back and then connect it in. So it, look, it should look that, like that same double bump that we have on the front. We did it, Jack. We finished drawing our loaf of bread. Well, with one slice missing. Yeah. It, it's not very funny, though. What, what do we need to still add? A funny face. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to add, add the funny face. Let's draw our bread super happy. We're going we're gonna to draw, we're gonna draw a cheek line over here and a cheek line over here. Nice job. Then we're going to add the eyes and we're going to, instead of drawing a full circle, we're only going to draw part of the circle. So it looks like the cheek is coming up in front of the eye. Then we could do the same thing over here, curve around and then connect back in. Yeah. All right. Now let's draw the highlight, the small little circle inside of both eyes. Then let's color in the big circle and leave the little circle white. Then we need to draw the mouth. I'm going to start here. We're going to draw a curve that comes across and ends right about there. I like that one. You could just leave it just like that. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add a few more details. I'm going to add a little cheek line and then I'm going to draw the rest of the mouth coming down and then curving forward. <laughs> <laughs> and then we definitely need to add teeth. So I'm going to draw another line down and crossed. Then I'm also going to add teeth down here at the bottom. First going to just draw a line straight across like that. Then I'm going to draw the front of the teeth coming up a little higher, come back and then stop 
And then you can add the tongue inside of here, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And then we can also add the back or the other side of the mouth and then color in this top shape. This is a little more complicated. Now you guys don't have to draw it like this. You could draw your own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jack, we did it. We fit. Oh, I'm going to add. Well. <laughs> I'm going to add two little eyebrows. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our loaf of bread, our funny loaf. Yes. We still need to color it. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Give me five. I love how your loaf of bread turned out, especially that face, man. It's cracking me up. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> now you guys can pause the video to match our same coloring. You could also change your bread. Maybe it's raisin, cinnamon raisin bread. That sounds good. Mm, or wheat bread. Maybe not. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing a loaf of bread. Yeah, we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.